Okay, hey. So, there is uh, another topic I would like to go over tonight. Um, somebody made a comment on something I said in my Facebook group. Um, and you can join if you want. Um, it's um, how to stop attracting narcissists. It's for women only because um, I got to narrow down who I help. But how to stop attracting narcissists for women only. And um, <clears throat> we just, you know, share stories and uh, share guidance and, um, you know, victories and things like that. It's a good group. Um, got a nice group of ladies in there. So someone, I, I posted in that group and I said, if you cannot release into him, you're going to throttle until you scream. So, <laughs> and uh, one girl commented and she said, um, I have managed to turn my shame into hate. And, you know, it's helped some. And I said, you know, this is a really good topic and I'm so glad you commented that because that, you know, now I know what's going on with her, but also, you know, um, I'm just, uh, I'm so glad that she said that because I, that is a huge topic. Um, trying to transform after, you know, a narcissist really, you know, does you dirty is so difficult because you feel lost. You feel completely lost. These people take everything from you. You know, they take your identity. They take your, your self-awareness. They take your self-esteem. They, they take you know, everything about you that, that you thought you were sure about and they just like shit all over it. <laughs> and, um, they, they alter your reality completely. I don't know how they do it. They're damn geniuses to be honest, because they really ought to be working for the fucking FBI or somebody because of how, how smart they are and how well they figure shit out. And instead they're just, you know, going to waste, ruining, you know, people, uh, boyfriends and girlfriends, and really they need to be working for the government and, and putting that power to good use. But anyway, narcissists, yeah. So when they do you wrong and you go from feeling hurt um, and feeling ashamed and everything else, and you turn it into hatred in order to try to transform the hatred is number one going to burn up your energy that is a lot of your creative energy going into um, being angry at somebody who isn't going to change um, isn't going to feel bad about what they've done uh, the hatred for them is not going to change the situation it's not going to rewrite it it's not going to rewrite the story and it's sure as hell isn't going to help you build Hatred for, for, you know, the narcissist or anybody is not a building block. And the only reason I say that is because hell, hatred is a healthy emotion. It, 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 it tells you, or anger rather, um, is, is a healthy emotion. Maybe not hatred. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but the anger behind it. Um, the anger comes from hurt, as it usually does. And that anger is telling you, you know, what your boundaries are. You've just realized your boundary. You know, somebody does something that you, that you deem unacceptable and now you're pissed off because they've done wrong. That's a boundary that you've just discovered in you. So, or maybe you already knew about it, but especially for people who don't know their boundaries and, and pull narcissists in for that reason, because they have no boundaries or they have little understanding of boundaries and the narcissist thrives on you not being able to say no to anything. <laughs> so that's how that works. But, um, you know, your anger uh, behind that hatred for them, <clears throat> even though the anger is, is a good thing in a way because it's your, it's your compass, you know, your emotions tell you what's important to you and they tell you about yourself. So it's important to pay attention to them and the anger and the hatred, um, teaching you what your boundaries are and what your values are and things like that as important as that is. I don't want to see you um, pour too much of yourself into that because if you're not getting any clarity from it, then there's really not any point. You know, this is your shadow work, you know, to, to dive into the unknown and ask yourself questions about why you feel the way you feel and uh, what you want to start changing yourself so that, you know, you don't have to go through that again and what you could start doing differently, etc. Um, so the shame, and you should not have to feel ashamed about anything, you know, at all. You shouldn't, you just shouldn't. But especially, you know, 
when when you get the narcissist out of your life or if they're still in your life do not do not let that person make you feel ashamed of shit the only thing when it comes to you and the narcissist and y'all's dynamic if this is a if this is a family member or somebody that you were born into you know this is different that that's a different situation but if this is just a partner that like showed up in your life you know and plopped into your lap and said okay you know we're, we're, I'm gonna take you for a spin which is what they tend to do <laughs> um, <laughs> somebody like that you, you chose that person but the reason you chose that person uh, subconsciously is because um, there were lessons to learn there and the subconscious you or and your higher self or what have you knew that and the your higher self or your the universe you know or what have you your inner essence was aware of the things you needed to learn about you and the only way you were gonna learn about it is if it was thrown in your face and the narcissist will do that and the narcissist threw my low self-esteem in my face and uh, my lack of boundaries in my face and shit like that and I and and I was angry and I had more than one I had a, I had a handful of them but <clears throat> um, that's usually that was the running story that was that was the pattern was uh, boundaries my, my sheer lack of boundaries and, and lack of uh, I suppose self self respect and uh, total total complete utter uh, bottomless pit lack of self confidence <laughs> and um, you know because especially for for girls uh, the the self confidence whatever confidence they do have takes an absolute nosedive right before they hit puberty and it, it never recovers and we're not taught to recover it. So that, that doesn't help us. Um, this is why you see so many more women complaining about men's bad behavior and complain about narcissists because, you know, we don't have the confidence to um, <laughs> uh, go after better quality, you know. Um, but that's, I gotta save that for another video. <laughs> that's a whole other, t that's a whole other issue. <laughs> another time. But anyway. So, <sighs> replacing your emotions. I understand this. I have done this. If you want to replace your emotions with like other uh, negative emotions, you know, just to feel it out and just experiment with it and just to see how that feels and, and do it differently for a little while, I can understand that. I, wouldn't re I just wouldn't recommend doing it for very long because you're wasting your energy thinking about them and when you should be thinking about you. The narcissist comes into your life to show you things you need to work. Well, all of your partners come into your life to show you things you need to work on. It's just the narcissist is a doozy and they are um, a big one and uh, <laughs> you know they'll show you what you need to work on if it means calling the police or whatever you know like they, they they're gonna you know take you for a ride a wild ride it's like a roller coaster you know that you didn't want to go on to start with and now you think you're about to die and you just want to get off you know <laughs> so <laughs> you know it I can understand hating them after that I I know I was there I hated them too um, I mean, hated them in ways I can't put into words. But after a while, I thought, you know what? I'm tired of hating these guys. <laughs> uh, this is a waste of my energy. And then I just, I just, I got tired of it. I just got tired of hating them. I got worn out with it. I was like, this is boring. I, you know, I don't understand where I'm going with this. This just isn't doing anything for me. What have you? And um. I started to think, well, you know, instead of uh, wasting my time hating the narcissist, you will, what else can I do that might be better than that? What else can I do with my energy and my time and my focus, you know, that might be better than just hating his ass? And that was um, doing something for myself, either to feel better or uh, for self-improvement. Um, and those can go hand in hand if you want. Um, but I started to... Uh, you know, just do better things for myself and do some soul searching. And I read books about, you know, spiritual growth and understanding yourself and understanding your emotions and, you know, watched videos about, you know, psychology stuff and um, especially children's psychology uh, because that teaches you so much about yourself and why you do the shit you do. And it is because your parents screwed up 
<laughs> it is. But I'm not saying they're bad people, you know, but I'm just saying they, they screwed up, you know, one or two things or more. And the shit sticks with you because no one resolves it because they didn't think they were wrong. So they don't address it. And then you're 35 years old and you're crying, you know, about your self-esteem or whatever because no one thought enough of you to pull you aside and say, you know, what happened? No one ever says that. Why does no one ever say that? You know, so people are quick to say, you know, you should really, you know, have more, com you should really be more confident. They don't know how to tell you to do that. And they also don't know how to ask you what happened. Why does it never go any farther than that? the questions and the conversations and everything. Why does it never go any farther than that? And how come no one wants to investigate this with somebody that they quote unquote care about? So I'm a little asshole tonight. I'm throwing it out there. I don't care. <laughs> this has to be said. So, um, I changed it. I had the, I had the, the hoop and then I, I changed it to that today. But anyway, um, so, <laughs> Yeah, replacing your emotions. I mean, yeah, I get, like I say, because I did that. But w the only thing I want you to consider with that is, is to not spend, to spend some time on it. If you need to get it out of your system, hate them for a few weeks. Get it, get it out, get it over with. What I would suggest to hurry that along so you're not stuck spending too much time feeling that way, would be um, physical stuff to really get him uh, or her, whichever. Uh, out of your fibers because the things that we go through that hurt us mentally and emotionally really get stuck in our fibers like it's fucking weird there have been times and I'm not ashamed to admit to this I don't care but there have been times when I have been in the middle of exercising you know because I was so depressed or so angry I couldn't fucking stand it and I was exercising just to do it and I would just start crying in the middle of exercising sometimes I'd know why I was crying and sometimes I wouldn't <laughs> you know what kept right on moving kept right on moving it didn't matter I kept doing it I was like no I'm I'm, I'm gonna cry but I'm gonna keep doing the what is these the the uh, dumbbells <laughs> or the kettlebell whatever I had <laughs> but you get what I'm saying work that shit out of your fibers um, yoga is good uh, belly dance of course is my personal favorite so uh, that's those, I do those two things. I do regular workouts too, a little bit. Um, you can um, get m regular massages. You know, if you want something more gentle, any kind of body work, um, lymphatic massage. You know, to drain the shit out and everything. You drain the, all that shit out like that and everything, and you just drain the stress out of your body. Like it releases the chemicals and everything, but there's something spiritual or energetic about it where you just leak it out. Um, <clears throat> there were times when I was uh, stressing so bad over the past few years that, uh, especially last year, when I was stressing so bad that I'd be bleeding when I wasn't supposed to be. And uh, that was, that was shitty. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> I mean, because the body is going to tell you one way or another, you know, get this out, get it out of the fibers, you know. And, and so I would suggest, like I say, you know, moving around. You don't have to exercise. If you want to do that exercising, I, I I don't particularly like to just like start exercising. I don't like that. It's it sucks. And I prefer belly dance. That's how I that's how I do it. Usually. And the yoga. Um, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You can go for a walk. You can uh, usually when I go for a walk, I do like an hour and a half to 2 hours. I know I'm weird. Um, I don't I don't get to do it often because I like to go outside for that. And I live in Alabama where it's 100 degrees for about six months out of the year. And I can't stand that shit. Um, because I'm Northern European and I'm not designed for that. And I fucking hate it. And <laughs> so I don't go outside a lot except for when it's cold. Which looks like we've already gotten past the quote unquote cold season. Um, it's been hot and humid and rainy uh, for like the past three or four days. And I'm disgusted because um, whatever cold weather we were, we were going to have has already come and gone. And it's the first week of January, and it's hot outside. So I can't go out for a walk like I want to, but that's it until, you know, next December. <laughs> or this December. <laughs> so, um, but anyway. Um, 
but I would say work it out of your fibers. Um, choose a better diet if you can, any kind of a cleansing diet. If you don't, if you're having a hard time like changing the foods that you eat, you know, or like giving up stuff, I would at least suggest um, a, a, some kind of a detox tea that you can drink here and there, maybe once a week, like all day long. I, well, I'll pick one or two days a week where all day I'm sipping a detox tea. I'm hardcore. I, this is just how I do it. But you can do that. Um, I also pick a day, pick one day of the week where I eat corn and spinach as my main meal. I only eat like one main meal a day. I can't sit down to three full plates of food a day. It's fucking, it's far too much. Um, it's way too much. If I was like working the fields, you know, or if I was a blacksmith or something, I could see burning the calories and needing that, but I'm nowhere near able to put that away and I have no reason to, so I don't. But my main meal, like once a week, I'll do corn and spinach. Um, and I'm weird. I mix it in one bowl. You know, please don't ask me why, because I don't know. <laughs> Um, I like corn, I like spinach, but I'll, I'll eat that for a, the cleanse, and it works. So you can do shit like that, and that will make you feel better. Um, slowly change things in your diet to make you feel better. Um, you can also do things like rearrange your room or your house, uh, get rid of things that are like cluttering up your house or your room or whatever, donate some shit. Um, thin out your stuff. It always feels good to let go of things. You, every time you do it, you're going to be so glad you did. Just thin some shit out. You really let go of a lot, you know, and make sure you get rid of all the narcissist stuff because you never know what's still laying around. Anything that triggers memories, you know, just get rid of that shit. You don't need that. You don't need any of that stuff. Um, and what else? Uh, do things that, like, make your atmosphere a little bit better. Um, like a, 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 oil diffuser or um you know soft lights or uh, candles or something like that you know or incense you know something to just like make the room feel better um and that can put you in a better mood but mainly what i want you to do is if you need to do the anger thing towards the narcissist it's okay to do it for a little bit to get it out of your system because you're gonna have you're gonna have the anger you, you know and and you're right you're right to be angry that's absolutely right and you should be because they, you know, waste your fucking time and they fuck with you. Um, so hell yeah, you should be angry. But I don't want you to spend too much of your energy doing that shit when that motherfucker's not going to change. And we both know that. They're not going to change because they're not going to learn. Um, you know, because the narcissist can do no wrong. So don't worry about... Don't send them your strength like that. You know what? They don't deserve that. Send your strength back to yourself and start making good choices for you and invest in yourself this time around. And, um, you know, just from now on, make a promise to yourself that from now on, you're going to have more self-respect and uh, you're going to practice, you know, remembering your boundaries and you're going to do good things for yourself and invest in yourself however you want to do that. Uh, your physical health, your mental health, uh, you know, something to help you feel more secure like a, a life insurance policy or a savings account or uh, a home security system, you know, whatever works for you to make you feel better, anything, any of those things. Um, if you're interested, I also have my um, How to Stop Attracting Narcissists course um, where I go over a lot of stuff like that. Um, it's just a self-paced online, um, you know, unlimited course. and um, it's nine instruction videos, and I go in-depth about how to figure yourself out, how to figure them out, you know, just for the peace of mind, if nothing else, and then, like, a good video at the end to really put everything in perspective and help you, you know, get on with your life. And it's a really good-ass course, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it just is. Um, if you're interested, it's 100 bucks. <sighs> Considering the work that went into it, that's pretty cheap. <laughs> Um, cause I've, I looked at some other courses and they were, you know, like in the thousands and I, I didn't want to charge that because I want my stuff to be accessible to a lot of people. And I just thought a hundred bucks is, is fine. So if that's something you're interested in, message me, y'all know where to find me. I'll hook you up. It's no big deal. I'll, you get the videos immediately. It's like, it's not even a big deal. 
So, um, if that's something you want to do, you know, that's always there. Um, but that would be, but that's a really good, that's a really good comment, and I'm glad that girl left that comment. So, um, you know, like I say, if you want to join my Facebook group, like I said, get on there, um, and you can search how to stop attracting narcissists for women only, um, since I'm a women's life coach. So, and you can just join my group and then group members get discounts and shit like that. So, uh, you know, you can keep up with that. And, uh, like I say, we get in there and just, you know, um, share support, share stories, uh, share victories, you know, things like that. Um, yeah, that, so that's what I want for you. You know, I want, I want, I want you to have whatever success is, is meant for you and I want you to have all the things in life that is meant for you all the good things and all the blessings that are supposed to come your way I want you to have all of that and I don't want you to be stuck feeling bad when you don't have to um, you know you are a human being and your life matters and you deserve good things and you deserve happiness and you deserve peace of mind so um, that's why I chose to be a life coach because I want to help with that and it's taken me so many years to figure that out for myself and I figure since I've you know kind of figured it out for me maybe I can help other people so that's why I do what I do um, but anyway you know if you have any questions y'all know where to find me you know track me down message me you know um, let's talk and uh, that's it I hope that helps so thanks for watching me and uh, stay tuned thanks